Now we're starting the C row, and C1 has a center with a square and a square, surrounded by a log cabin borders. First thing to do is to baste all five of these pieces, and then I'm going to attach the triangles to each side. For some reason, I attach the opposite sides, and then I'll go back here. I, I like it because I'm be able to center them a little better, I think, but it might be just in my head. Um, after that, we're going to go to the shortest side and then work our way around this way. And this is the longest side is last, and that would be the um, background. And then the focus fabric on the outside, the shortest side, and work our way counterclockwise to finish with this one. So I have my pieces laid out for basting. Like I said, we're going to start right here with the center. I'm going to baste these, and I'm going to baste two of them with the legs first and then the hypotenuse opposite ones and then the other ones I'm going to do the hypotenuse and then the legs that way it's going to prevent these tags from clashing they'll nest a little better because these will be going in and these will be going out so let me get these basted and we can get assembling so I basted and connected the triangles to the center square the next thing to do is to baste and attach this piece so I've attached the first of the inner border. Next is this top piece. One thing I wanted to point out, as you go around, these pieces you're attaching are gonna look smaller. There's a step there. And then there's, a, I tried to center it with those things. The idea is to center it, but then when you start stitching, you wanna pull this even and stitch it into a little ways tie off and then stitch this even and then meet in the middle because you have seams in here that make this grow a little bit compared to an uncut piece of paper so you may get some dimensionality as you go around this is normal you didn't do anything wrong so I'm just gonna make sure I work that excess in so I've got the next piece attached and that's what you should have on the front. This is the next piece to attach. Third piece has been added. So now I'm going to add the final piece on the bottom for the first border. So the fourth piece has been added and the inner border is completed. The next thing to do would be to start the same process for the outer border. And I'm not going to demonstrate each piece, but we're going to do this one this one, this one, and then finally this one in the same way we did the inner border. So I finished connecting the outer border and now I have completed my C1 block.